Hey guys, let's talk about pylons on the hip. So if you've watched my mission editor video, you probably know already that the hip has a couple of modular things you can attach and detach through the mission editor, including the external hardpoints, that's the pylons that look like wings there, as well as on this page over here, you've got exhaust IR suppressors, additional armor and cargo half doors. These are all things you can take off just by unchecking these boxes. And that's great for single player, but not much help in multiplayer where you're not able to access the mission file. So if these things are on because the mission maker put them on, you're stuck with them. Thanks to a couple of my viewers, I now know that it is possible to remove the wing pylons through the ground crew while you're in game, which is fantastic. But upon testing the feature out for myself, I found that it's also hilariously broken. So we're going to load into the game here, and we're going to take a look at how it works and how it doesn't. Okay, so here we are with our helicopter, with our pylons and our gun pods and rockets and everything mounted. Um, initially, when I was trying to figure out how to do this, because people just mentioned that it was possible, I figured it would be through the F-8 ground crew, and I had just been missing the option. But upon looking at that... You just find the usual rearmor fuel, ground electric power, request repair, and then this wheel chocks and tie downs option that you can call for it, Chief, place the wheel but chocks. it doesn't actually do anything. There's no wheel chocks for the hip. Copy. So it's a pointless menu option to have. Wheel chocks are now in place. I wonder if they're planning to do it later. Um, but it wasn't there, and so I thought, well, maybe, maybe they're wrong. Maybe it's still just mission editor only. And then I thought, wait a minute, it's actually probably in rearm and refuel the same way the Tomcat does it, where you can remove the payload, but you can also remove the pylon it's mounted to, like the AIM-54 Phoenix, for example, has its own pylon mounted in the tunnel. So, sure enough, there's remove payload, if you just want to get rid of the actual weapon, but there's also remove pylon. And if you do that, you'll get X's for all six stations here, uh, and it'll actually take the entire pylon assembly right off the helicopter. So we're going to do that. Request rearming. And then we're going to speed up time just a little bit and we should see the pylons will come off <laughs> the pylons come off first and then the weapons come off so they float in midair which is backwards but whatever minor detail so that works fine or actually you know what we can uh, put on our door gunners now Oops, I've slowed down time there we go. Now we get door gunners, which is also really good, and that's perfect. Like, why wouldn't that work? You know, you don't need the pylons on to have your door gunners. Great. So what happens if we try to put stuff back on? So let's go throw on a bomb, throw on a gun pod, uh, throw on some rockets. And we'll do something different on the other side. And then we'll request that. Ground crew says copy. There's our pylon, but there it goes. <laughs> and now all our weapons are being mounted to nothing. And the ground crew is seemingly fine with that. So we can now fly around with just some floating weapons that aren't attached to anything. And our pylons aren't there. Um, yeah, so that part works, more or less, um, as you would expect, aside from the whole invisible pylons thing. Now where it gets really broken is if we decide to start the mission without pylons to begin with. So let's uh, quickly make that change and come back. Okay, so we're back with uh, without pylons to start for the beginning of the mission. And we're going to try to add them. We should be able to do that, right? If it works the other way around, I should be able to just toss a bomb or a gun pod or... The, hmm. Okay. So I can't actually put anything... Or maybe I can? Okay, well nothing was showing up until I filled up all six slots, but now it's there, so let's see what happens. Request rearming. Unable to comply. No can do, we can't set up the aircraft this way. Okay. Yeah, and nothing shows up until I go through all six pylons. Uh, and even then, it's not showing up. Request rearming. Unable to comply. 
but it's getting the request. It's It knows that I want something there, because it's requesting rearming. Let's try putting door gunners in it, because, like I said before, I shouldn't need uh, pylons to put gunners in the back, right? Request rearming. Unable to comply. Unable to comply. No can do. We can't set up the aircraft this way. So this doesn't work. So the only way that the pylons actually work through the ground crew is if you start the mission with them and then remove them. And then it doesn't really work very well to put them back. They It works, but the pylons themselves are invisible. So it works and it doesn't. And at the same time, I'm glad to have the feature there, but I wish they would extend it to also include the IR suppressors, the extra armor, and the half doors at the back so that we could be in control of the of our own helicopter's configuration, regardless of who built the mission and where we're playing. So that's all for today. Just a quick little update to show you that, uh, yes, it is possible to do this, but it's also kind of broken um, and janky, so it may or may not be of value to you. Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys next time.